right, hey everybody. Um, we are here to give you another update. We've been doing a lot of work on the house, as hopefully you can tell. Um, uh, even down to a veto started working on cleaning up the five block here. It was all overgrown, so that's uh, the beginning of that project has been, been moving along. Um, but we also got, was one of the things I was the most excited about was getting the transom fixed and the new door. Uh, that's a half light with the nine panel, so we finally get some light into the entryway, um, which is great. We also painted it this really nice dark blue, which I think is a huge improvement over the red because we didn't really need to be the red, white, and blue house. Um, this color is called Fly by Night, and I love it, and I hope you do too. Um, we also repainted the trim on the windows and the door where we still need to get the house power wash hopefully that bright or that light blue will uh, get a little brighter um Vito also replaced the mailboxes which I like that shape better because all the other like windows and doors and everything are very rectangular um long ways and so it's nice to kind of get that broken up a little bit because the other mailboxes were definitely worn out and also um just kind of that exact same shape uh, and we also replaced the outdoor light fixtures. Um, they definitely needed updating, so that was an easy thing to do. Um, that really added a nice little thing. I also got a little excited and planted just a couple native things here. This whole front area was going to be kind of a native meadowy garden. Um, and that was supposed to be last, but I couldn't help myself. I had to get some echinacea and rudbeckia and this um, native uh, obedient plant, I think it's called. So hopefully those will do well. Um, but yeah, you can see just what a big difference having the brightened up trim and the new door and the transom make. Um, so come on in and see how much nicer it is with natural light in here. <laughs> uh, we also took up that linoleum that was down here before. That was quite a task. We still got some work to do refinishing these floors, but definitely an improvement. Um, let's see. And then up here, we have finished pretty much all the demo. There's still a couple things to do, but um, we took out the studs that were here finally, which is nice. You can see it like nice and open. This is gonna be. Um, and then this stud here is gonna come out. We'll extend the header and um, move this back so that when you walk in, you don't walk straight into a wall. Um, over here, we will do the. We'll put up a wall with some French doors here, so this can be the uh, second bedroom or a guest room or an office or something like that but the French doors will allow some of that natural light from those windows to come into the living room um, when it's not being used as a bedroom. Uh, we finished opening up the furnace chimney here. I think this goes down to the there's like this old cast iron furnace in the crawl space that um, is um, as old as a house I would think. Um, and so I guess this was the heat source. So we open that up. We're going to clean it up, uh, fill in the bricks, and seal it. So that'll be an exposed brick feature, which will be cool. This wall is getting closed up, and it's going to um, have a door that opens on this side instead. So it'll just be this massive, awesome hall storage closet. Um, probably be the bulk of the storage for this unit. Um, and then over here, this wall used to be here. This was part of the uh, closet for this bedroom. So we opened that all up. This was kind of a lot of wasted dead space here. There's a closet there. Oh, there was a closet here. Okay, I can't remember anymore. Closet, closet. But this is now going to become our half bathroom. Um, so that'll be really great to have a half bath right by the front. And then this is a cool area here. This was closed up. This was all wasted space under the stairs. These go up to the second unit. Um, and you can see there's this old feed board, probably original. The door over there I posted some pictures of that just went into the closet. Um, so we're gonna leave the door and then Vito's gonna build out maybe some cubbies, um, maybe some like bench storage here so that this can be a useful space and also kind of keep it from this front hallway from feeling so like narrow and closed in. Um, alrighty, 
Also, look at these beautiful floors we finished uncovering, or they will be beautiful when we refinish them. Um, we just need a sanding and a coating. We'll also patch in some of these areas uh, with heart pine so that it uh, is consistent and doesn't have these big blocks. Um, bedroom, haven't really done much to that. Um, this is kind of just where we're storing a lot of things. This is old flooring that came up that we're gonna reuse. Um, some OSB and things like that that can hopefully be reused. Um, this is the skinny bedroom. Originally we talked about doing um, a pantry and a closet over here, but we decided that for a variety of reasons, one of them being like the shape of the room and how a bed would fit in here, and also the fact that there's plumbing and electrical over here, which we knew, but it's going to save us a lot of uh, stress and work if we leave that and actually put a closet on this side. So we'll probably build out a long closet here for storage and then the bedroom will stay like this. Um, and that way we can move the fan, which is really nice too, so it'll stay centered. Um, yeah, refinish the floors, make it really nice. That'll be the main bedroom. Bathroom, this and the laundry room were both in addition, so they don't have any original flooring, which is totally fine. So. We've got the, we're going to re-enamel the bathtub and we ordered our new flooring. So we'll pick that up hopefully next week sometime. Um, this nice white luxury vinyl tile, which will be hopefully uh, really durable for us and for renters in the future. And it's this nice bright white, so it won't look so dingy in here. We'll also, of course, repaint and um, we need to switch out the vanity and all that kind of thing. Um, we added this fogged window film here because as it was before, I love this window, but the neighbors upstairs could look right into the bathroom, uh, the way everything was placed. So we put this up for some privacy and that's kind of some nice diffused light. So that's going to be a, a big project to do when all that stuff comes in. Laundry room uh, is pretty much finished. We might put up some kind of like false wall or partition here to um, block the mechanical, but keep it accessible. We repainted it um, our Franken gray, which is just a mix of all the discount paints we could find. It's kind of this nice warm gray, which is perfect for the laundry room. Um, and then in the kitchen, Vito did a lot of hard work uncovering these floors. We weren't totally sure what all we would find under here. There was another layer of heart pine going the opposite way for some reason. Um, we just didn't really know exactly what we get in, getting into, but we uncovered them and are actually pretty happy with what's here. There's definitely some parts to replace and patch, but that's kind of the story of old flooring. Um, and we'll do that a lot, but for the most part, I think it's gonna be really, really pretty and we're lucky that we get to keep that. Um, so since we're not doing the pantry on the other side of the wall, we're actually gonna build one out here. It's kind of like a long skinny pantry because this room is really nice and big for a kitchen. So there's plenty of room to do that. Um, so I'll go over here, sink is moving to this side, that's kind of the same as the last updates. Um, fridge will be probably over there, and then we'll build out a little breakfast nook here. The range will go there, and just lots of countertops and things. That'll probably be one of the last things we do, because we need to order in all the um, countertops and figure out what we're going to do about cabinets and all that thing, but, but that can wait. Um, and see anything else out in here that I missed? No, I mean, as we've said before, replacing the windows, mm -hmm. making them longer, not wider, so we don't have to change the header out or anything like that. All the structure can stay, so yeah. just, <clears throat> just make them longer, get some more light in here, we'll change off this yes, door. Yes, the door will become kind of like we did with the front door. We'll get something uh, either a half light or a glass door, I'm not really sure. We're going to kind of keep an eye out at the restore and um, class and trash, which is like at the thrift store, where we got our front door. Lots of places we can kind of find um, something if we just are patient and keep looking, we'll find a hopefully a really great door with some nice windows that will um, add a lot. We'll probably end up painting it the same color as the front door, that night by night blue. <laughs> um, yeah, I think that's pretty much all the news. The backyard and the back porch are definitely on the back burner project. We're going to get to that eventually, but we're really excited about how it's coming along in here and how nice it everything opened up the new layout plans and the exterior i'm just 
so in love with how it's coming together outside with the, with the new door and the transom and everything. And I can't wait until all the plants fill out and we get some new railing in and it's just gonna be really beautiful, hopefully. Um, cool, so that's it. Thank you, bye.